dear brands package well yes package well the delivery man or the dispatch guy calls you and says hello is this grace gigi you say yes you say i have a package to deliver i'm outside your house and then he will now bring out my item in this in this what is this your packaging is your silent salesman hey beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is grace gigi i just want to quickly put it out there that today's video might come off as a rant because i'm here to talk about something that has been on my mind something that irks me irks irks who came up with that word irks anyway whatever something that irks me and i felt the need to address it i'm here to say dear brands package well yes package well do you know how i feel i don't know about other people but do you know how i feel when i take out time to go online i'm surfing through so many brands so many vendors that probably even sell the same thing at the same prices settle on your brand maybe because of your price maybe the difference was 500 naira I'm on a budget your aesthetics the way you responded like your customer service was top-notch and I placed my order transaction is completed and I'm looking forward to it because let me tell you one of the joys of receiving a package is when the delivery man or the dispatch guy calls you and says hello is this grace gigi you say yes you say I have a package to deliver I'm outside your house me I will now jog me that I like here and you have a package I will now jog to the gates very excited to receive my item and then he will now bring out my item in this in this what is this really what is that i'm just here to share my opinion on what sending your goods or your items in that kind of bag does to your brand i'm not coming for any brand in particular i'm a consumer and i'm also a brand i have a brand so i'm also talking to myself because there are things i might say from the consumer's point of view that my brand side needs to draw from so i'm not coming for any brand in particular but i would like to tell you that you are doing your brand a huge disservice when you send your customers items in that kind of paper bag or in that nylon yes it is a nylon when you launch a brand or you decide to become a brand to build a brand you're automatically telling the people and your consumers your potential clients that they're making a promise and creating a perspective of expectation that one is big grandma let me break it down you're telling the people that we are here to deliver excellence amongst other things so excellence is what we the consumers we the clients look out for so when you send me my item in this how is this depicting excellence it doesn't follow it really doesn't follow it might seem like i'm being too harsh or i don't know but i just feel that there are brands who need to hear this and before you say oh what is she feeling like or oh, this is i'm just telling you before you say oh i'm a small brand you've decided to go on that path you've decided to become a brand you've started to build a business so you have to put all these things into consideration because let me tell you your brand packaging is one of your brand identities your logo your colors the packaging there are some things that make up your identity so your packaging is one of your brand identities let me talk a bit on packaging what packaging is and what packaging does for your brand packaging is the materials used to package your goods <laughs> so packaging is the materials used to wrap or protect your goods it is what you use the materials used in conveying your goods your services your products anything you want to call it that is what packaging is and the business of packaging is to present your goods in an advantageous way advantageous advantageous see all these words uh, i don't even understand today my brain is just somehow but what i'm trying to say is that present your goods your products your services in an advantageous way so if you and i agree that is to present your goods your services whatever in an advantageous way why are you sending me your goods your items in this why why are you sending them in this 
I'm confused. How does that place you above the next brand? How does that place you above your competitors? Maybe you're trying to tell me you're not taking your business seriously. So apart from the regular functions of packaging like protects goods, attracts buyers, describes and gives information on the content, explains the benefits of the goods inside, um, gives warranty, provides information and warnings. When I mean warnings, I mean like when you buy clothes and they say do not tumble dry or do not hang sideways or backwards or inside out, those kind of warnings. So apart from these everyday functions of packaging that we know off the top of our heads, what packaging does, good packaging, it emphasizes on product's best features and creates an amazing experience for the customer. So imagine if my item came in a very cute carrier bag or a box or a, something really cute. Me seeing it, I would be excited and that excitement, you know, would make me appreciate the brand more. I'll be like, oh wow, this brand really knows what they are doing. They go above and beyond. You remain on in you remain top of mind i would always probably refer to you. your packaging is your silent salesman when your packaging is good customers remember you and it also creates visibility let me explain what i mean by it creates visibility if i buy a product from a brand and it com comes in a cute box or in a very cute bag as female a lot of us do it when we want to go to the salon or I want to send Sandra something. I will package it in that. In short, I might not even package it because I might say, ah, this bag is too fine. Why am I sending it to Sandra? Sandra will not return it to me. So you can see what it does. But let's say for it, let's say I even send it to Sandra on the way to where Sandra is. Maybe I'm not driving, I took a bus, or I'm going to the salon. People are seeing that bag. Unconsciously, they're like, okay, nice. So people that have the time would even approach you and ask you, oh, this bag is really nice. Where did you get it? So I got it from so and so brand. This is what they sell. We, your customers, we've become automatic salesmen who work no pay, but we're doing this because we are happy with the brand. Or maybe, maybe someone who doesn't want to approach you, they will bend, they will squint. They'll be like, oh, nice bag. And then they see your, you have to position your logo, your brand name very well. And their eyes immediately catch it unconsciously one day they will just carry their phone and hey this thing i use so what do they do and that's what happened and let me tell you in the creative space we use anything and everything as props so you send me a box a package in a box i want to do flat lay you will see that box there especially if it goes with the colors i'm playing with the aesthetics i'm playing with i might not show the brand name or not necessarily oh i might i might not even care i might not even care i might even put it there your brand you see visibility people are going to see they'll be like oh that's nice because if the colors are popping or it adds flavor to the picture i'm taking or whatever i'm using it as props for people will see it and let me tell you what bad packaging does it makes the customers worry even before they see the item the other day i ordered something and it came in a box that was beating black blue purple yellow orange and immediately I saw it, I said, this one that the box is like this, the item, I'm sure the item is bad. Coincidentally, the item I ordered for was a bit faulty. I just said, this one that the item came in a box that looks like this, I want the, the products be bad. Unconsciously, you're already tying bad packaging with bad service or bad product. But when the packaging comes, it's nice, ah, your expectations are high. And I open the package, even if it is one small fault, the mind is a very beautiful thing. You even be making excuses for the brand. I'm just painting different scenarios of how this thing works, of how packaging works. Let me even talk about the emotional aspect of packaging. I have one item that I got from the Black Sheep Company, I believe. I love their packaging. When I got it, I, I felt good. It was a good customer experience. I opened it and then for the sake of this video i put it back together to show you guys what my package looked like so it came in this box with my name here and even though i ordered it for myself when i got this i felt i felt good like it just felt like a package that my partner would leave for me by my bedside or it would just 
slip it into my bag you know that kind of thing so this is what their packaging looks like an accessory company so they put it in an accessory box and then it just opens up and it has this so i ordered some rings and then ear cuffs what caught my attention were these theirs came with a little backstory about their brand and another card that just says to be honest you're amazing and have fantastic taste or someone got you this because you are wear this with pride take a picture tag us on instagram the black ship company and get 10 percent off footnote says thank you for choosing us this product can last longer if you don't wear it while sleeping or bathing it serves as a card that says i'm amazing it also leaves instructions gives me a 10 percent off if i follow these instructions and tag them and what not to do if i want this product to last longer imagine receiving this on a bad day i personally would feel good it would lift me up a bit and it just makes me feel like hmm they thought about me and this appeals to the emotional side when it comes to marketing it came in their packaging so you see why i say dear brands package well your packaging like i said goes a long way it is your silent salesman it is one of your marketing tools and it is your brand identity if you're a brand or if you know a brand or you're looking to start your business you're looking to build a, your brand take this into consideration so thank you guys for watching this video no bad blood i'm just saying dear brands package real i'll see you in my next video bye